Hi everyone, my name is Mark from the Vegan Moon Cat. If it's your first time here, if you want to hit subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos, you can also follow me on Instagram at the Vegan Moon Cat to see what I'm doing on a daily basis. Today I'll be doing a full day of eating and also going to the gym and some other things. So the first thing I'm going to do is get myself to the gym and then I'll have some food when I get back. So I'll see you guys in a moment. gym t for body transformations and I'm gonna have a cardio day I do normally do some weights as well but I'm sporting a bit of an injury in my upper left arm so just the cardio so I'm gonna get in there and get some good exercise done and I'll see you guys in a moment <laughs> my workout t12 body transformations it's an absolutely fantastic gym if you're in the blackpool area i can highly recommend joining so i'm going to get home now as a bit of a bum and get myself something to eat and uh, i'll see you guys there so i'm back from the gym everyone i'm going to make myself a big healthy bowl of porridge oats that's going to have oats chia seeds flax seeds banana mixed berries you know um cinnamon loads and loads of great things so i'll get that made and i'll show you what goes into it so here we go we've got all the ingredients here i've got the porridge oats a protein powder. I use the Protein Works uh, vegan protein, any will do, whatever your preference is. I've got chia seeds and flax seeds, mixed berries, cinnamon, and I am using soya milk. You can use any kind of milk you like. Oh, and a banana. Absolutely fantastic breakfast. So packed full of nutrients and great things. And no need for any artificial sweeteners. You've got all those berries in there, you know, and the banana. You know, it's so, so tasty. Highly recommend that anyone wants a good start to the day. Start with oats. You can't go wrong. All right, I'm going to eat this now and uh, then get on with a few more things. And I'll see you guys in a little while. We've come for a walk down Blackpool Prong with the dog. Keep ourselves healthy. It's uh, a little bit bracing, but still enjoyable. Yeah, we're having a really nice time. walk on Blackpool Prom, Ooh, that was cold, but you know, well worth it, well worth it. It's always nice to get out and about in the sun, uh, even if it is cold, and have a bit of a walk with the family and, and just get some exercise in. Uh, it's great stuff, can't lose. So today I'm going to have some healthy wraps. I'll show you what's going to go into those guys right now, and then we'll get to making them. So they're going to be pretty simple today. I'm just using whole grain wraps. I'm also using black beans, some refried beans, plain avocado, nothing done to that, just chopped up, some very, very spicy salsa tomatoes, and also some mixed salad leaves. So yeah, these are the guys. Let's get them assembled. So I'm going to start assembling the wraps now. Absolutely nothing to it. So anyone who tells you it's difficult being vegan, absolutely wrong. Not at all. So just get one of the wraps. And the first thing I'd like to start with is the refried beans. Mm, one of my favorite things just uh, spread it down the middle there get a get a fair bit of it on and then what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, get some of the let's go for the black beans let's go for the black beans so get some of those down the middle there stick into the refried beans as always you know just trying to be awkward so we'll get some of these guys on I'll uh, use my fingers we'll get further that way so yeah so we've got those on there. Come on, come off. There we go. Uh, next, I like to normally put the avocado. So I'll get some of these in. Very healthy fats uh, and none of the bad stuff. That's the greatest thing about eating plants, isn't it? Uh, then we'll get some tomatoes. As I say, I've used a very, very spicy salsa on these just to really give it a kick. Uh, 
and uh, then I'll just uh, use some of the some of the salad that was down the side there uh, just on the side and there we go that's it to that's it assembled as you can see well nearly assembled I'll put everything in there now for the worst part me trying to roll a wrap it's absolutely never never great so we'll go for this and we'll try our best anyway for the camera so we'll just push the sides in there and there we go job done for me that's absolutely perfect normally a lot worse than that when I try to roll a wrap so yeah, I'll get the others done and then I'll be right back with you. So there we go, all done. Got this tip from Paul from Hench Overboard, just stick a stick in there, stop them coming apart on camera. Great idea, mate. Uh, yeah, these are uh, looking super awesome. They are a lot bigger than I anticipated though, so uh, I think I'll probably only get through two of these, but I can always save one for the next day. That's the great thing about it. So yeah, I'll uh, get these eaten now and tell you what they're like. So here we go, taste test time. There's absolutely no way that it's gonna taste bad, not with all those amazing ingredients in. And to be honest, I've had them before. <laughs> Spoiler alert. <laughs> so yeah, th these, are, these are gonna really hit the spot. We'll give it a go now. That is absolutely delicious. Anyone who tells you you need animal products to make a great tasting meal, they're telling you the wrong thing. So I'm gonna get these in me now, then I'm gonna spend some time with the children and I'll catch up with you later when I make my evening meal. I'll see you in a bit. So here we go, the final meal of the day. But before I start cooking that, I wanted to just let you know that in the morning, I normally have a B12 supplement and also a vitamin D, just to make sure that I'm in the best of health. Okay, so this is what we're cooking for the last meal of the day. This is the tofu and it's marinating in a peri peri sauce, which is gonna be really spicy and tasty, so that'd be awesome. Uh, I'm also cooking that with steamed uh, kale and carrots. I got the rainbow carrots just because they look so fantastic, to be honest. Uh, and then in a frying pan without any oil, I'll be cooking these mushrooms with garlic, chili, and tamari sauce, which is super tasty, to be honest. If you've never had, had that before, it's very simple, but very, very nice. Uh, yeah, and that's what we'll be cooking for the last meal of the day. I'll get this all on the go now, and then I'll come back when it's all finished and show you guys what it looks like. I'll see you all soon. All cooked and ready to eat. I'm really, really looking forward to this. So we have the kale, the carrots, the mushrooms, which are done in tamari, uh, garlic, and chili, which are, are really, really tasty. And then we've got the uh, peri peri tofu. I think that particular mix that I bought was meant for chicken, but it works especially well on tofu. No chickens required. So yeah, I'll try this now and tell you what it tastes. I think I'll start with the mushrooms as they're always my favorite thing. That is ridiculous. You wouldn't think something so simple as mushrooms cooked with three other ingredients would taste so delicious, but it so does. The rainbow carrots. Perfectly done. Blow it now, don't want to burn my tongue. Woo! That's a spicy one. That's so nice. Very spicy, very, very spicy indeed. I'll put the link to the marinade that I bought in the description of the video, so you can see what I, what I used. I forget the name of that particular type of kale. I mean, if you guys can remember it uh, by looking at that, just uh, let me know in the description, but it's absolutely wonderful. Yeah, whole dish, all plant-based, you know, very simple, you know, uh, t t very simple to make, you know, and, and really, really enjoyable. No animals needed to make a delicious meal. So that concludes my full day of eating on a whole foods vegan diet and exercise and other things. If you've liked this video and you want to watch more, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Also, you can follow me on Instagram at the vegan mooncat for daily updates of what I'm up to. And I'll see you guys next time.